A Dutch company has successfully conducted a test flight of a car which doubles up as an aircraft. It's called the Personal Air Land Vehicle. The company hopes to put the machine into production soon, but will a flying car mean an end to ruthless traffic jams? Or will it prompt the invention of flying signals? I'm reporter at Reuters with this report. From a distance, it looks like a vehicle built for the road, albeit a slightly unusual one. But on a straight stretch of tarmac or grass, this machine transforms, giving it the ability to take to the skies. This flying car is made by Dutch company PAL-V, or Personal Air and Land Vehicle. You can drive like a car, like you do with your normal car, you can fly like a normal plane, but then in one vehicle. So, if you want to fly over a mountain, you can do that and then drive at the other end and go to your destination or fly over water or past the traffic jam, of course. Uh, all those type of things are possible now. PAL-V took its maiden flight in March and is certified for the air as well as the road. It needs only 165 meters to take off and, depending on weight, can fly for up to 500 kilometers or 315 miles. The top speed is the same on the ground as in the air, around 180 kilometers an hour or 110 miles an hour. Lift is generated by an auto-rotating rotor on top, forward speed from a propeller on the back. This configuration is known as a gyrocopter, and the company says it's quiet, easy to fly, and safe. Before taking the controls, customers must get their private pilot's license, but PAL-V hope to attract buyers beyond weekend flying enthusiasts. There are other considerations, of course, like how would hundreds of flying cars in the sky operate safely. PAL-V say they've had plenty of customer interest, providing they can find investors to take this prototype into production. In any case, getting home after a day's flying has never been easier. Andrew Potter, Reuters.